we're off to a start here on uh, Central Connecticut State University. We've watched some film on them. We're uh, game planning them up, but I was impressed with the way they re rebounded from a, a bitter, tough, disappointing loss. You got 24 hours to let it hurt. Think about it, feel it. Don't laugh at all. 24 hours, we learn from it, and we move on as a better football team, as better football players, as better coaches. You know, when I came here, one of the things I said is I want our, the people that support this program to be proud of their team on Saturdays. And so if they were proud of their team on Saturday, that's great. But if we start accepting internally that coming close and losing is okay, then we will never get anywhere. And I've said it many times, we want people to come to the rent and walk out of the rent and say, man, I like the way my team's playing, you know? Yeah, we want to wear UConn basketball shirts around, but I'd like to see some UConn football shirts. You know, some talk about UConn football, but we have to win football games for that to happen. Finally the day, the home opener for UConn football, the first ever start for rookie quarterback Zion Turner and the first game at the rent for Jim Mora as the head coach of the Husky. Welcome back. The UConn football team kicks off with a new leader, Jim Moore. Nate Carter had an insane performance last weekend. After his career high game and now a Keelan Marion injury, adding to an already weakened receiver core, I can't help but think that CCSU will definitely be game planning to slow down the rush. All the attention is now focused on Zion Turner, the true freshman quarterback expected to start in Saturday's home opener. Turner replaced Taquan Roberson in the loss to Utah State. Connect the deck on three. One, two, three, Z, O, N. No score. Let's go down to the far sideline and Randy Brochu. Thanks, Joan, on the UConn sideline. Calm focus from Nick Charlton, the offensive coordinator. For a UConn off, it's been frustrated by CCSU's run D. Maybe a little frustrated on the sideline, scoreless right now in East Hartford. Let's get Turner to the outside, looking to his right on an out route. Maybe something over the middle here as well could be open. Turner over the middle and it's caught! Touchdown Connecticut! Brandon Kamensky, his first varsity catch, and the Huskies go 80 yards and 10 plays to answer the central field goal. Blue Devils more than holding their own with UConn here in the first half. But start the 20 minute halftime. The bottom line is UConn leads it by a score of 7-3. 
UConn leading Central at the half, seven to three. Let's go down to the head Husky, Jim Moore. What's the message to Zion and the offense, especially after the big defensive play they made there at the end of the half? Well, the message is just relax and play football. You know, that's a young quarterback who's learning on the go. I expect him to be much better in the second half. He's a guy that's very unaffected by events and circumstances. For Connecticut, they need to keep running the football, Joe, because it's where they have the advantage offensively. And now some of the crowd here at Pratt Whitney Stadium at Wrenchwood Field. And John, I think both teams come into the second half looking to improve on things that they did well on in the first half. Drive, first and goal with the two. Williams drops! Delmont Gordine, who has had himself a day, had one block. And he hits the upright, no good! Toss, sweep, Nate Carter, finds a crease, fights the end zone! Touchdown, Connecticut! Nathan Carter! His first touchdown of the season is pivot. Looks, fires, incomplete! Oh, with a big sack. Longest third down conversion for UConn. They throw it to Aaron Turner. First down yardage and more. Breaks into the secondary and he's thrown down at the 26 yard line. To make it the 25 by Chizzy Minakwe. Fitzgerald and Turner. Fade pattern for the end zone. Touchdown! Jake Flynn! The walk-on who got a scholarship towards the end of camp. And UConn converts and they go up 20 to 3. Beverly on the blitz. Williams, Trace, Trace, and Scott. Colin McCarthy. Colin Sickles. Hands to Victor Rosa. Rosa heads to the left. Rosa cuts it back. Rosa goes in. Touchdown, Connecticut. On his second carry, Victor Rosa. Williams looking to throw. Throws over the middle. It's picked off by Boye Randall. Here's Brandon Boye Randall. That is how you as a Michigan State to Texas Tech to now Connecticut transfer cap off the first win of the Jim Moore era. Final score this afternoon, UConn 28, Central Connecticut 3. A successful home debut for Jim Mora John as the Huskies proved their physical superiority. The longer the game went, the better UConn played. Absolutely, and they did it on the ground with an offensive line that has a lot of potential going forward. But more than anything, Jody, today for UConn football was about a new day opening up, a chance to show their fan base that this is a different era. And while there are things to be worked on, ahead of the Syracuse game, next Saturday, a big showdown here under the lights at the rent. This goes back to what Jim Morris said on Monday. If we start accepting internally that coming close and losing is okay, then we will never get anywhere. That's not competitive athletics. Well-deserved win. So freaking proud of you guys. I'm so happy for you, okay? It was not easy, all right? And I think we found something out about ourselves in the second half, okay? And that was that we can calm ourselves down and we can go out and we can play like champions. Who wants to lead the, uh, the song? Connecticut song. Who is it? A one, a two, a three, a three, two. You got us, you got us.